I'm Sarah Lieb and this is SingingTV.com. Together you and I, we are making singing simple. The reason that I wanted to be with you today and teach this lesson is because I want to talk about the best way to breathe. We talked in the last episode about breath efficiency and breathing through the mouth. And today I want to teach you about the best and most efficient way to breathe through the mouth. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to open your mouth really, really wide. And as you do so, put your fingers right here, not in front of your ear lobe, which is here, but right in front of this fun little cartilage that sticks out. What you'll notice is if you open your mouth really wide, you'll feel a little hole open here, right where your mandible and your skull separate. Try that. Okay, so you should feel that happen. Now what I want you to do when you breathe is open your mouth just kind of to here. So that you don't feel your jaw and your skull, your mandible and your skull separate. You shouldn't feel that hole open. What you'll notice is that your mouth gets into this kind of position. It's sort of like, huh. And if you, if you do that, you know, you can sort of do this stupid face. One of my uh, teachers, Jeannie Levetri, calls it uh, peanut butter mouth. Uh, like everybody's going like, oh, what? What's going on? Um, call it whatever you want, but you can still keep your face bright and do that at the same time. And what you'll notice is if you get your jaw just kind of into that dropped position, you're not opening it as much as just letting it hang. What you won't hear when you breathe in is a lot of sound. You won't hear what you're hearing when you hear those breath sounds is you're clenching your throat and it's sort of um, creating resistance. You're making a smaller tube. Uh, we talked in the last episode about smaller versus bigger straws and we're trying to have the biggest straw we can, the biggest opening and the mouth opening. And in doing so, we want to have a really, really open throat. Uh, the back of the, you know, the soft palate is a little raised. We've talked about that in previous episodes, but this is just sort of a really easy way to get there. I'm going to come a little closer now, and hopefully you can hear if I'm breathing like this. It sounds like my breathing's labored. It's not labored per se, but there's a lot of squeezing and a little bit of tension that's happening here in my throat. I want to get rid of that tension. We want to be the most efficient we can. So, hopefully you can hear very, very slight noise, hardly at all, and what it should sort of feel like is that the air is just leaking in. It should be really, really easy. And what you'll notice when you have that happen is that if you've been having trouble with breathing in general, um, that your rib cage should sort of naturally expand and rise and make room for the lungs to expand. Your stomach might move out visibly a little bit. And that this should happen really naturally and just sort of feel like the air is coming in really, really easily. Try that a couple times. Do that as a breath exercise and just kind of really be aware of having the most open throat you can, dropped jaw without being specifically using muscles to open it, just nice, dropped, open, even though your face may look a little, uh, <laughs> that's uh, sort of the point of the exercise. We can brighten up the face later. I uh, hope that was helpful. That's a really efficient, silent, easy to get in, in a, you know, a lot of air in a very short amount of time, easy way to take a breath. Thank you very much. I'm Sarah Lee. This is SingingTV.com. And question of the day. I'm loving seeing your answers. I think it's really, really fun. And I love the um, sort of the back and forth communication between users at Singing TV and on YouTube. So let's see. Question of the day. If you play a secondary instrument besides the voice, whether you learn voice first and then learn the instrument, or learn the instrument first and then begin to sing, what is it? Is it bassoon? Is it guitar? Is it piano? Is it keyboard? Is it drums? I'm interested. List it below in the comments and see you soon. Again, Sarah Lieb, SingingTV.com. Together you and I, we're making singing simple.